In this section, we'll discuss the connection between kinetic energy, work, and the forces applied to a particle. Hopefully recall the definition of kinetic energy from your lower level physics classes. In this class, we'll write kinetic energy as a capital T very often, and recall that it's one half the mass of a particle times its velocity squared. If we take the time derivative of the kinetic energy we find that the time derivative is equal to one half the mass times the time derivative of the velocity vector dotted into itself. Because recall that the scalar length, the length of a vector, the square of that length is actually the, the dot product of the vector with itself. And so we can write the time derivative of the kinetic energy uh, as one half the mass times the time derivative of the velocity vector dotted into itself. Of course, using the product rule, what we find is that that time derivative works out to be the mass of the particle times its uh, velocity dotted into the acceleration of the particle. And then of course the acceleration times the mass, well that's just a force. And so what we find is the time derivative of the kinetic energy is equal to the force vector applied to that particle dotted into the particle's velocity vector. Or in differential form, a little bitty change in the kinetic energy of the particle is equal to the forces applied to that particle, the vector form of that, those forces, dotted into a tiny amount of displacement for the particle as it travels along its trajectory. So the trajectory of the particle uh, can be drawn in this way. If we imagine that the particle starts out at a point R1, the position of R1 is you know, a position vector. And as it moves along its trajectory, it moves uh, along this trajectory by displacements dr, so tiny little displacements. And so when we're taking this dot product, what we're doing is we're dotting the force uh, applied to the particle at each point in its trajectory into the tiny little displacement vector, the infinitesimal displacement for the particle as it moves along its trajectory. And that line integral, that represents the work the work done by the forces on the particle. This is probably an idea you uh, visited in your intro physics classes, but now we're going to formalize it uh, and have a little more sophisticated approach to this idea. And so this, this connection between the change in the kinetic energy, the line integral of the force dotted into the displacement vector, and the work, we're going to call that the work kinetic energy theorem. And so if there's a change in the kinetic energy of a particle, it's due to work done along the trajectory. One important thing to keep in mind here is we're thinking about the net force applied to the particle. So there can be several different forces applied to the particle. And in this expression, we have a sum over I, where I represents all the different forces that can be applied to the particle. So this line integral is really involves the sum over all the forces dotted into the displacement vector. And so we're interested in here in the net force. So for example, if you have one force pointing in one direction with a certain magnitude and another force pointing in the opposite direction of the same magnitude, when you add those two forces together, the net force is zero. And so together those forces, when summed together, do no work on the particle. And in that case, if there were no other forces applied, the kinetic energy of the particle would not change. We can also think about the work done by each individual force as written here. And so we end up getting a summation over all the works done by each individual force. And again, if we have forces that are equal and opposite, the net work will be zero done by all those forces. 